Hello everybody, I'm Count Christo. So you want to play Mayo and Taxes. Who wouldn't? It's the best mod for the best game that has ever been made. This is going to be a very brief, very simple tutorial as to how to download the mod and play it, and make sure you're on the right game version, all of that good stuff. Obviously there may be future versions of the mod in the future that you need to do in a slightly different way, but this tutorial should always work for this version of the mod, which should hopefully always be available. So if you need one way of learning how to get the mod, this should work. Step one is getting the mod from the Paradox forums. So let's go there. So as mentioned, the first thing you need to do is download the mod, which can be done from the Paradox forums. There will be a link to this uh, site, this particular page in the description and in the comments of this video. You want to scroll down and click on base to download this version of the mod. You will note that this is for EU for 1.29.06. Don't worry, we will come to how you make sure you're playing on the right version of the game in just a moment. If you can't access this particular page on the Paradox Forum, make sure firstly that you are logged in, as you can see that I am, and that you have EU4 registered to your account. If you don't know how to do that, there is a link in the description which will detail exactly how you do it. So now we have the mod file, let's take a look at opening it and putting it in the right place. So next up, we need to add the mod files that we've just downloaded to the correct file on your PC. You need to open up My Documents and then Paradox Interactive. Make sure it's My Documents and then Paradox Interactive. And then you need to open up Europa Universalis 4. You need to open up Mod. Now, as you can see, these two files that we've downloaded are, are going to be zipped. You're going to need to use an unzipping software. There are a million and one tutorials on how to do that, so I won't touch on that too much now. Something like WinRAR 7-zip. As you can see, these files already exist in here, so I'm not going to do this myself, but just take these two files, click drag them, put them in here, uh, extract them to however you need to do that, and get them into your Paradox Interactive European Universalis 4 mod folder. If the only thing in this folder is a text file called dummy, then you are a dummy and you are in the wrong file. Make sure it's Paradox Interactive inside your My Documents folder, not under anything to do with Steam. So. Now, we've added the mod uh, because we haven't done it through Steam. This will never get updated or overwritten without us expressly doing it, which is great stuff. Now let's look at how we actually activate the mod within the game and first, how we roll back our game to the correct version. So now we're on to step three. Make sure you're playing on 1.29. To do that, go to your uh, Steam library, right click on Europe Universalis 4, properties, then go to betas, and in this text field, open this up and make sure you're on 1.29.06. Everyone should have this available. You will be able to select that. If you weren't already on it, it would now queue a download and it would update your game to 1.29.6. Remember to never load any Iron Man saves on versions that they are not made for. You can permanently kill your Iron Man saves if you do that. Pro tip for Mayo and Taxes, also never play Iron Man. It's just not a good idea. 1.29.6. If you play on any other version of the game, Mayo and Taxes almost certainly will not work. Now we can look at activating the mod and getting into playing it. So, activating the mod. Boot up Europa Universalis as shown. Go to Playsets. Go to this drop down here. Hit Add New Playset. You can name this whatever you want. Let's just call it Mayo. Hit Create. Now we have this, add mods, and you're going to want to find Mayo and Taxes version 2.52. This should be easy to find because it's probably one of the only mods that isn't from Steam. It's a locally saved mod. Check that, add one to playset. There you go, version 2.52, and you can see we've now properly added it to our, uh, our playset. Go back to home, make sure you've selected that newly created playset. M-E-I-O-U in this case. Hit play and you are in the mod. And you're on to step five, play the mod. As soon as the game boots up, it should be immediately apparent that something is very different. You now have access to 
the finest mod with all of the wonderful mechanics that come along with it. I have a few videos on the channel about uh, learning, beginning to learn how to play, nothing close to a full tutorial, but I'm sure you can pick things up on your own. There is a Mayo and Taxes Discord, which I have linked in the description. There is a very helpful subreddit, which I have likewise linked in the description. You can obviously also ask questions either in my Discord, you can guess where that's linked, and in the comments of this video. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I will leave this video up even if in the future new versions come up and things like that. The download process is almost always exactly the same and I hope you all enjoy Mayo and Taxes. One great way to learn to play, shameless plug, is to watch Let's Plays of other people playing and I have uh, dozens of those already on the channel and more to come in the future. So if you want some examples of people playing the mod then check out the channel, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped some of you enjoy Mayo and Taxes.